assembly lube or engine oil? We get a lot of questions on which one to use when you're rebuilding your engine. Now, to be honest, as long as you make sure you have all of your parts lubed up, you're gonna be fine. But if you don't use assembly lube, you're gonna be missing out on some additional benefits. So let's talk about those. This is, or all of these assembly lubes, they're gonna be thicker and a little more tacky than engine oil. So, you know, as you put your engine together, it's gonna take some time. This stuff is gonna stay in place. And with the assembly lubes, you have a few types. So this dripper style, this is gonna be pretty precise. You can put it on those cam journals, things like that. It's gonna get the job done nice and clean. You also have a spray on type, which is probably my personal favorite. Allows you to get everything done quickly. You can also work it into the bearings just like that. And then the third type is the grease. So anytime I'm doing case halves, I like to use this stuff on the bearings. Now I know you're thinking I'm crazy for using grease on engine bearings, but all of these loops are designed to dissolve in the engine oil. So you're gonna be fine that way. And the reason I'm using grease here is as I put this case half together, we're gonna have some sealer on that surface. And if I just have oil on these bearings, a lot of times it'll drip down and contaminate that area. So I don't wanna have any questions of whether or not my case halves are gonna seal or not. So that's why I use the grease. But again, you've got several different options. And that's your closer look at the different types of assembly lubes that we use. And the cool thing about these, where, how they dissolve in the engine oil, you're not gonna have to worry about it clogging up your filter. So there you have it. Hope this video helped you guys out.